Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how we can take your Android phone and use it as a video webcam inside of OBS so that you can use it while you're recording other videos on your computer. So in order to do this, we need an app called AirDroid, and you can download it on your phone, and you should also download it on your computer. Uh, you can pick it up from airdroid.com and I believe the, the Android app is also in the Google Play Store so it should be very easy to find if you download and install Airdroid. And how it basically works is that through the app your devices will be able to talk to each other on your Wi-Fi network. So if you have a phone that's connected to your Wi-Fi and your computer is connected to your Wi-Fi you'll be able to access the phone's camera from within the Airdroid app. So as you can see here on the Windows app version of AirDroid, we can see that my devices includes two Redmi Note 4 phones that we can access and use. Now currently, uh, neither of these devices are connected. You can tell because it's grayed out for being offline, which means that on our Android devices, we should go ahead and open the AirDroid app. And once you've done that, you don't have to sign in or anything. It just needs to be connected to your Wi-Fi. Uh, you should see one of your devices pop up here with a blue icon instead of a gray one. And that means that it's actually accessible. Uh, so we can click on this and do things like file transfer. But more importantly, we can go over to Air Mirror, which is the mode that will allow us to do this function, access camera from desktop, remote camera. So as long as your device is connected here with the blue icon, we can click on remote camera. And that is going to connect our desktop AirDroid to our phone AirDroid. And after a few moments, the camera should pop up there. So you can see here, I am aiming my camera at the computer screen there. So uh, you can decide where you want to point your camera. But in order to use this inside of OBS, we're going to need to actually go ahead and hit this pop up button in the top right hand corner on the desktop. So I'm going to do that here. And we'll pop this up into its own separate window and minimize the rest of AirDroid. Now we can open up another copy of OBS. So with the copy of OBS opened, uh, we can see here that the desktop display already includes the remote camera, but we want this to be a separate window, which is manipulatable. So I'm actually gonna turn off display capture there and I'm going to add in a new video source. So this is gonna be a window capture and I guess I will call it a uh, phone. Hit enter and now from window we're going to select air droid air mirror so that pops in over there and this now is a window that only has the camera there now we can stretch this if we want uh, one thing you'll probably want to do is cut off this top area where it says remote camera and the bottom so we don't really want to see the controls in the final video so let me set the phone down there for a moment and you can see that when I set it down because I tilted it on its side that the orientation automatically switches. So make sure it's in the orientation you want. But once you've done that, you can hold alt down and left click to crop away the sides that you don't actually need here. So I'm going to crop that uh, top part and I'm going to adjust the bottom part as well. So I'm holding alt down and left clicking in order to crop part of the window. And now I can drag what remains where I need it and I can stretch it to the size I need. So now that we have the camera working as a webcam, we can add in whatever other kind of captures we need. So if you're doing a presentation, it might be something like add a second window capture and then have that be behind the phone so that the phone shows on top or add game capture if you're recording a game. But either way, that's the basics of how you can use AirDroid to set up your phone as a working webcam that you can integrate into OBS while you're recording things on your computer. So I hope this video has helped some of you guys out. Thanks for watching. I've been Chris and I will see you guys in my future video content.